some breaking news that's coming in. This one from uh, Karnataka, where rumblings within the BJP with just months to go for Karnataka polls. Now, KS Ishwarappa and Ramesh Jarkiholi, two former ministers who were not inducted in the cabinet this time around, are boycotting the assembly session. Now, remember, the assembly session is currently underway in Belagavi. For more on this, I'm joined in by my colleague Neha to give us more details. Neha, what is interesting is, uh, in fact, um, you know, Ishwarappa had cited personal reasons for missing initially when he had written that letter to the speaker. But, uh, you know, during his interaction with the media, he has stated that he's unhappy or rather he has expressed displeasure uh, towards the chief minister for not inducting him into the cabinet. Can you tell us more about what both the reactions from Satish Jarkiholi as well, uh, beg your pardon, Ramesh Jarkiholi and uh, Ishwarappa has been on this matter? <clears throat> yes, you know, absolutely. For long now, there has been quite a lot of, you know, discontentment even within the BJP about, you know, uh, senior leaders not being inducted into the cabinet. Now with Mr. K.S. Ishwarappa, you know, while it may seem like he had gotten a clean shit, you know, after the entire scandal broke out, after there were allegations against him, after he was asked to step down, uh, you know, he wasn't really reinstated back into the cabinet. Now, this is, of course, you know, on the side of KSE Shurapa, whereas Mr. Ramesh Jarki Holi, too, you know, after we saw that entire video that had come out, with both of them, in fact, they were expecting to be reinstated. There was quite a lot of discontentment, you know, within the party also. And having said that, <clears throat> you know, there have been multiple rumors that have been spinning the mills about how, you know, uh, the Basavraj Bomai-led government would likely expand its cabinet. The chief minister had visited Delhi many times as well in this regard. But having said that, he's never really got the nod so far from the high command. Even in the latest visit to Delhi, he had, in fact, you know, brought this up with the Union Home Minister Amit Shah. But he said that, in fact, time would be given for this later. So we'll really have to wait and see while, you know, these are two senior leaders whom we're looking at with the BJP. Um, whether, you know, of course, this is going to have any sort of impact now on the upcoming polls, we'll really have to wait it out. Absolutely, Neha, but I appreciate you joining us and getting us those important details in terms of this political, uh, uh, you know, news that has uh, come out of Karnataka right ahead of the elections. But uh, we'll continue to track that story. But moving on to breaking news that is coming in. In fact, the National Human Rights Commission has filed a so motor case in connection to the alleged uh, custodial death of uh, Lalan Sheikh in the CBI custody. All right, for more on this, uh, we have my colleague Deepak Bhopanna joining us. Uh, Deepa, give us more details into the fact that this is, of course, you know, rumblings within the BJP, right, ahead of uh, the elections as well. How do you read into this politically? Well, this is personal ambitions really taking over uh, rather than them thinking about why they've been elected. Firstly, their duty as an MLA is to serve the people, to come to the assembly here, you know, uh, represent their constituency, the issues, answer the questions of the, the, the uh, uh, that was posed to them. Of course, they're not ministers at this point in time. It seems like in Karnataka, wanting to be ministers supersedes everything else. Uh, we've seen, you know, people switch parties. We've seen governments fall and it's uh, all, uh, you know, been because there have been, uh, you know, a lot of people who've had interest in them becoming ministers. And that seems to continue even now. Ramesh Jarki only shifted from the Congress to the BJP. He was made a minister. Uh, you know, there were a lot of charges. And that matter, of course, is still under investigation. Uh, there's, uh, even in the court as well, the matter is pending. As far as Ishwarappa is concerned, one of a contractor committed suicide, alleging, you know, harassment from him. Now, he was given a clean sheet, uh, you know, after the investigation was carried out. And he says that after being given a clean sheet as well, I'm not being reinducted into the cabinet. And Ramesh Charkiri seems to be miffed about the same reason. So now there are these two former ministers. Well, they may have their own reasons of being angry, but does that really, um, you know, allow them to not uh, attend uh, the assembly session? It's their job as an MLA to come here and do this. It's, it's as if, you know, the people elect them and they don't, you know, go get, get to their office to even do the duty that they're meant to. Uh, we'll really have to see how the government deals with it because Ramesh Jarkiyorli is quite a powerful politician, especially in northern Karnataka and, uh, you know, the, the BJP at this point in time cannot completely ignore the likes of KS Ishwarapa and Ramesh Jarkiyorli as well, considering the elections are just around the corner. 
it's a difficult spot. Uh, the Chief Minister, of course, time and again, has been making visits to Delhi, hoping that, you know, the cabinet expansion could happen. These two names, along with several others who are sitting on the fence, could be inducted into the cabinet. But, uh, you know, the nod from the centre is not coming for uh, reasons, uh, you know, best known to them. So it re really remains to be seen how the state government really handles this precarious scenario. All right, Deepak, I appreciate you joining us on the broadcast and getting us those uh, details as well in terms of the rumblings within the Karnataka BJP, remember, right ahead of the election.